Here's how you can use Picture in Picture within Chrome OS. In case you don't know, Picture in Picture is essentially this thing. It's a feature that lets you watch videos within a special miniature floating window. As you might have noticed, the special window essentially floats on top of all the other open windows and applications. And the idea essentially here is that you can have a video always playing in the corner of your screen while you do other things with your device. As you can imagine, it can be quite useful when multitasking. Not only that, this is a feature that you can now use with a lot of different applications and websites. Now, to be clear, not all websites support picture in picture, but a lot of the major ones like YouTube, Netflix, Twitter, um, those websites do support picture in picture nowadays. With Chrome OS's implementation of picture in picture mode, you can move this miniature window around the screen and you can also adjust the size of the miniature window to a certain degree. Pretty cool, huh? Now here's how you get picture in picture working on your Chromebook. First, start off by opening up a YouTube video in the web browser. This technically doesn't have to be a YouTube video, by the way, but for the sake of this being a tutorial of sorts, we're going with a YouTube video here. Next, open up the notification or status section over here. In this section, you should find a section that is similar to the media playback controls that you get when playing media within Android OS. Click on the media playback thingy, and this should lead to a section marked media controls. Something to note, media controls only appears in Chrome OS when you have media actually playing, which is why we start off this entire process by opening up a YouTube video. Media controls list all the media that is either open or playing in Chrome OS at the time. This section also gives us some general playback shortcuts like pause slash play, forward, and backward. Along with these playback shortcuts, for the videos that support it, you get the square icon. Clicking on the square icon will put the video in picture-in-picture -picture mode. And that's all there is to it. As a quick tip though, if, like me, you want to regularly access the media control section on your Chromebook, you may want to consider pinning it onto your Chromebook screen. You can do this by going into the media control section and hitting the pin icon on the upper right hand corner. On top of being able to put videos into picture in picture mode, media controls can also be useful in quickly identifying media that starts playing from an unknown source. I'm sure we've all been in those situations where we have a bunch of tabs open in a web browser and then suddenly media starts playing from one of those you know, open tabs and you don't know where it's coming from and you gotta hunt it down. It's usually some kind of pesky video ad of some kind. It it's, it's, can be very annoying with the media controls ability to list out any media that is open or playing on your Chromebook at any moment, this stops becoming a problem because you can easily identify what is playing. Just scroll through the list, find the media that is playing at that moment, and hit the pause button. Simple as that, it's a feature that can be quite useful. I don't know about Mac users, but the Windows and Linux version of the Chrome web browser also comes with media controls. The steps on getting picture-in-picture -picture working through the media control section in the Chrome web browser is pretty much the same as it is on Chrome OS. Anyway, that's all I have for you guys today. I know I went over something that's pretty basic within Chrome OS now, but I also noticed that there aren't many videos going over picture-in-picture -picture mode that has been made recently. A lot of videos that I could find about this topic was made a few years back when you still had to get a separate web browser extension to be able to get picture-in-picture -picture working within Chrome OS. So I thought I might as well make this updated video in 2022. If you found this video informative or helpful in any way, shape, or form, I'd appreciate it if you can give this video a like. Thanks for watching.